back to 3 Pete Sports. I'm Robert. I'm Dustin. I'm Aldo. And today we're going to talk about uh, NCAA football. Uh, first, we're going to start off with uh, Boise State, Michigan State, the uh, Friday night game. And uh, yeah, Dustin, what do you think about that? Yeah, I think uh, Michigan State proved that they were the better team in this game, clearly. Uh, Boise State has lost too many of their offensive weapons that they've had over the past few years. They lost nine uh, defensive starters at, to either the NFL or graduating, and they're just not the same team of the years past. I do think they'll win out from this, uh, from this point on. That was the hardest game on their schedule, no doubt. Uh, they still, still have some tough uh, in-conference games in the Mountain West, but... Uh, it will be close, but for, I think they're going to win out. They'll, they might make a small bowl game, but if they wanted to make anything, they're, they were going to need to win that game, the season opener. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, their BCS chances are definitely over. Uh, that's it. Uh, there's no way they're going to make a BCS bowl this season. I mean, it's been, I mean, the Mountain West is not a, a hard conference at all, and that's why lately with their one-loss season, they haven't been making a BCS bowl. They needed to stay undefeated to maintain that uh, BCS uh, hope. Uh but yeah, uh, they lost too many weapons in the offense and the defense to uh, to win this game. Yeah. Uh, Michigan State is a really strong team; they're ranked as well. Yeah. Uh, they w- they want the Rose Bowl game. They've yeah. said it before; that's what they're aiming for. And uh, if they play the way they did against Boise State, I think they'll be able to make that Rose Bowl game hands down. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, Michigan State obviously just came out. Their running back had two hundred yards. Their running back, yeah, the running, running back's really yeah. good. Boise State, everyone knew they were going to struggle just because of all the people they lost. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was plain and simple, basically. Yeah. With that. Wait, you can't replace a guy like Helen Moore immediately. Yeah. The winningest who, quarterback. In yeah, of America. all time. And they're, you're replacing him with a guy, Joe Southwick, who went 15 of 31 to a pick, only 169 yards. It, it was just bad. I Personally, I want their freshman quarterback, Jimmy Larea, who did really good in their mini camps. Yeah. It's up to start, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, all right. Moving on to Alabama and Michigan. Uh, Alabama won forty one to fourteen. Mm-hmm. Huge win. Everyone thought it was gonna be a great game. Game day was there. Yeah. Everyone everyone's gonna you know, everyone's focusing on that game. That was the main game of the weekend. Why did it be a blowout? Aldo, what do you think about that? Well, uh, um it's Alabama. You know, Alabama is one of the strongest teams in NCAA and definitely in the SEC. Uh Nick Saban is a phenomenal coach. He's proven that two national championships. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it proved it. Yeah, I mean, I, I honestly think Michigan didn't have stand a chance against Alabama. They're playing in the South. That was basically a home field advantage. For yeah, Alabama, yeah. Uh, Al- they're just too strong. They came out way too big, and Michigan couldn't handle it. I, I, I predicted it the whole way. Yeah, yeah, you don't, you don't bet against Nick Saban in a game like that. I mean, there was questions surrounding the team ever since uh, they won the national championship because they knew a lot of those defense starters were going to the NFL. They lost eight or nine starters. Um, but the defense looked solid as they've ever been. Yeah. And uh, they, their quarterback still looked good, and their offense looked even better than last year. Um, yeah. They they looked even improved, and I thought it was going to be a lot closer. I thought Michigan was going to make it a close game. I, I really liked their offense with Denard Robinson and, and their uh, receivers, but they just came out flat. They couldn't do anything against yeah. that SEC defense, and yeah, it was I thought, a blowout. I, I thought Denard Robinson was going to do okay, but it turns out it wasn't. That wasn't the, no. the point. So yeah. Uh, next up, uh, Ohio and Penn State. Mm-hmm. Penn State coming off of you know the sanctions, all the, the all the troubles with yeah. the uh, Sandusky case. Uh, you know, and Ohio comes in. Everyone's trying to you know they they were kind of actually hyping up the game. Yeah. Even though it was just bit. Ohio. No, yeah. But it was because they're coming off Penn State to see how they will react with the new team, uh, Bill O'Brien, the new yeah. coach. See how everything will go. So, what do you guys think about that? Yeah, that was a it was an interesting game. Uh, I knew Penn State was going to struggle, but and I honestly thought they were going to get blown out, even if it was just Ohio. Yeah. But uh, they actually proved that they can still compete. Uh, unfor- yeah, like they're not on that four-year ban, so it, honestly there's no point of playing these games. But uh, uh, they, they did okay. I mean, coming off that, it's going to be really hard to come back and bounce yeah. back from that. So um, their offense looks solid. Defense was okay. So yeah. Yeah, it, 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 I knew it was going to happen. Yeah, it was definitely not a good start for the Bill O'Brien era. I mean, the first game against a team that's had a history of being uh, very average with Ohio and they come out flat as can be is the beginning of the end of, of Penn State yeah. in, uh, being a top team. Um, these sanctions are going to hurt them more than people expect. It's not only for the next four years, but 
they're going to have a lot of rebuilding to do after that. And you can see that in this game. I mean, they lost their star running back, Silas Red, yeah. who was the, one of the best rushers in the Big Ten. They lost a lot of guys who transferred, and they're just not the same team. And it's the beginning of the end for that team as for, for the near future. Anyway. Yeah, speaking of Silas Red, USC, this is notable. Uh, they won 49-10, to 10, which is a complete blowout, doing what yeah. they're supposed to do at the number one rank. Another uh, notable game would be Oklahoma and UTEP. Oklahoma favored by a lot. Won yeah. twenty four to seven. Yeah, I I don't know where it was. that's UTEP. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Not much to yeah. say. Yeah. Let's, UTEP. Let's, let's, nah. UTEP. The only history of sports they had is in nineteen sixty six when they started with five black players in the game mm-hmm. in basketball. Yeah. So that's yeah. the only history they'll ever have in, in sports. If, so this was very disappointing for yeah, Oklahoma. Is, but I mean, we'll see. Maybe it, it was it just could, a. It could just be a start to the season. Yeah. And it's just like a slow start. It's, but some teams get a slow start. But if you're a top five team playing a team like UTEP, you should be winning yeah. by seventy. Yeah. Yeah. You should, yeah. You should win by at least thirty or more. They were favored by something crazy, like over forty. Yeah, and and UTEP just got allowed back into the you know the BCS uh, yeah. uh, you know conference type yeah. of thing because they were in the FBS for a long time. Now they're back up. So. That's kind of uh, so. Yeah. That was a slow start for Oklahoma, but it happens. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this episode. Uh, remember to subscribe, click the football, watch our recent episode right here on the helmet, and the episode before that on the baseball. Be sure to check te- check us out on Facebook, facebook.com dot slash three peat sports, and Twitter at official three p s. Uh, be sure to leave a comment in the comment box below. Uh, be sure to like this video. Do anything you'd like. And ask us questions. Yeah. We'll respond to the videos. We already have multiple fan response videos up uh, answering other people's questions. So if you guys have any questions about anything, you know, hit us up and we'll, we'll reply to you guys right away. That's right. All right, for 3P Sports, I'm Rob. I'm Dustin. I'm Aldo. See you guys.